Hey everybody, this is Congo Joe from Congo Joe Films. Thank you again for, you know, keeping up with me and my hiatus <laughs> and all that. Uh, yeah, so there's a new segment I'm doing on my channel. Um, it's Basically, it's like a little blog. No, like a vlog. I mean, you're talking about my experiences and my s stories of all my investigations I dealt with, with uh, demonic entities and shadow people. Um, you know, stuff, <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah. So if you guys want more content on this, just let me know. Basically, it's just a vlog of me talking about um, you know, all my ventures I had with me and my uh crackhead team <laughs> of uh supernatural investigators and all that. Uh, I've been dealing with it for like twenty seven, no, twenty seven years. Of demonic and demonic entity hauntings and 26 years of dealing with uh, shadow people so yeah so here we go as if as individuals why are we so compelled in finding answers to the unknown I found myself asking that question as you know time passed uh, of me dealing with a whole bunch of, you know, different cases on that. So, yeah, well, anyways, shadow people. So, I would say, let's be, I'm going to talk about my first case. Yeah, this, this is my first case. I dealt with shadow people. So, it all started with my sister went to uh, a graveyard at night. I guess trying to do, you know, see goals, take pictures and all that. Well, I didn't care for it myself. I was just into my, you know, my martial arts and all that. I tried to focus on, you know, I don't try to focus on that more than anything else. And then, whatever, that night she was taking pictures and all that. She brought something back to my house, my childhood house. And then, once you know it, the game haunted. Yep, so that's awesome. So, after a while, like, we were figuring out, yeah, there's something here. Like, you know, bumps at night, uh, you know, door slamming, TV turning off and turning off and on, and all that. Then, uh, one day, like, I was outside at night, and then, out of my peripheral vision, in my backyard, I seen a shadow person scattering around, you know, going around and stuff. Sorry, got off my hiccups. <laughs> so, Yeah. And then I got more involved trying to figure out where they are, you know, and all that stuff. And then it got so bad that it, instead of coming from my peripheral vision, they just came full funnel in my vision. Like, basically, I'm, like, like if somebody's, it's like basically, in a nutshell, it's like somebody standing in front of you. And that's how I've seen them. Like that. Like, they weren't running. They weren't doing anything. They were just standing there looking at me, and I was looking at them. So, yeah, so that was interesting. <laughs> and then, you know, further along I went, uh, I was starting into demonic hauntings and all that. And then um, it just got so bad that I just decided I'm done. I'm done with this. I don't want nothing to do with this anymore. I'm out. And then I've just been, you know, basically behind the fact that I was involved in that. Uh, you know, involved in that aspect of my life, like, I don't care for it, but for some reason, if something keeps bringing me back to it, <laughs> so, then I decided to, um, uh, look for answers, like, not, yeah, not for help, but just for questions of why, why me, why is everything involved in the supernatural, I have to come knocking on my door, like, why, so, my journey, took me to uh finding questions with um this kick-ass um, i don't know if i can say that word but this kick-ass psych uh psychic a medium her her channel is last frontier medium awesome jesus she actually saved my neck a few times or like one time she actually saved my butt like so i or yeah or my life for that so but um yeah, she said that they said there was something following me. Like something that's 
connected to me. So that's what I have to deal with when the time comes. And then um, the one thing that kept on following me, it was like this creature something. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but uh, it was almost to... Well, yeah, our first case, basically, me and my team's first case, we were dealing with these woods that were haunted, and, um, yeah, I just, this thing just came at me, like, in the morning, it was weird, but it sounded like a baby crying in the middle of the woods in daytime, and then it just kept on coming and coming, and every time it got close, it sounded... At first, it sounded like a like a baby, you know, crying and all that. But when it got a little bit closer, it started sounding like like females screaming, like in anger. So then we decided to get together and say, forget it, just you know, do a a full on blown exorcism in the woods. But I don't know. It was like I don't know how to explain it. it was because we didn't really go inside a house. It was an environmental exorcism, I guess. You know in a profound way you can just you know say it like that <laughs> so we just did a whole exorcism in the woods so we're doing that one of my team members he started throwing up because once they start making themselves known like it's weird like yeah the the weather like the air around you becomes real cold and um the smell of rotten meat was in the air. Like, it was so bad that he started throwing up. And then, once I realized, was, like, what was happening, he was actually getting attacked. You know, I told him, I told the being to piss off. Like, you don't have no right to attack him. So, it went away. And then, we stayed there for, like, from 9, 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Until everything started you know all that activity started you know like calming down so then we decided to call it a night we came back the next morning and all that and it was weird because it was like a heavy feeling in those part of the woods like a really dense heavy feeling like you know something's there but you can't see it that went away like nothing was there and the smell of roses was in the air so it was I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it just smelled like that. So then, we didn't feel that heavy, that heavy, dense feeling anymore. You know? And then, um, yeah, like, I actually attacked a few of them. Like, uh, not a few of them, I think, like, one incident. They actually swung at one. <laughs> uh, because it was, um, the whole story was it was midnight. And, um... I was, I don't know, just like a grocery store, it was summer, I was like, and I just had a grocery store to come back, and then I felt something, you know, some something behind me, like something was coming close to me, and then I just did a quick glance, and it was a shadow being, so then I swung at it, I actually swung at, swung at it, and um, in two seconds, it did a, a whole 360, yeah, yeah, basically, a whole 360, it was right behind me. And my and I was still swinging at that time, so it went that fast that I actually got behind me, and then I stopped. I stopped from myself from swinging in that direction. I turned around, and then we just stared at each other. Just basically just stared at each other, and we're like, "Yeah, I didn't because I didn't know what was gonna go on, so it was kind of weird." So then we just call it that. And with the whole lights and all that, they. They, like, they hate the light. Like, it's so weird. They, it's some of them, like, they're, it's weird. There's, like, I know I was talking about it. There's different ranks in them. Like, the weak the weak ones, they hate the light. They cannot stand the light. Like, they, it's weird. Like, they freeze, and they can't move. And the only time they move is at night. But the other one, like, the stronger ones, they don't care about it. They don't, they don't care if it's light, uh, night, or anything like that. They'll just, you know, attack you whenever. And that's why that's why I figured out figured out after all my years of dealing with these freaks, the shadow people. And I use the word freaks, not to insult any, not to you know, basically insult anybody. I just hate the shadow people, supernatural slash demonic entities that had I dealt with. So I just call them freaks. So that's my little thing. So yeah, and um, 
Yeah, and basically, I mean, that's what I learned. Like, they, it's weird. Like, at that time when, you know, that happened, I was staring at them and all that. I just realized that they have, I don't know, they're, they got, they're really intelligent. Like, they know what they're doing and what they're actually doing. Honestly, I think they're just haunt, like hunting people for some reason. That's the only way I can explain it. Like they, they try to hunt you because if you've, if you, like, show fear towards them, then they'll lash onto it because they love that. They love that fear that people, uh, that people show, and they, they want that. Like they're attracted to that, so they keep feeding off of that fear until. I don't know, until they, they basically consume you, in a sense, so, yeah, so that's what's going with that, but, yeah, this is like a vlog that I'm doing, I don't know, if you guys like it, just let me know, uh, yeah, just give me a thumbs up, uh, I'm open to any comments, if you guys want to discuss more about it, if you keep dealing with, you know, hauntings, like the demonic or shadow people, whatever, I'm here, just, you know, just write in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. All right, guys. See ya.